Hey, it's Chris Brogan. A lot of people had asked me, how do you upload and do the bulk tweeting thing using Hootsuite? So first off, you need a Hootsuite account, obviously. Second off, once you get logged in, um, you can use this for Facebook. You can use this for Twitter. You can use this for LinkedIn. Uh, I'm showing you basically the Twitter methodology. You go over here and you click on the paper airplane, which then says publisher. You click on schedule in bulk, and then you click on uh, it says here, do you want to upload here? I'll move this over. Do you want to upload a CSV file? And I can choose that file. But if I don't have a file like that yet, then I better go down here and download a sample. When you download that sample, you can then edit it in something like either Excel or I use something uh, called Text Wrangler for Mac. But, you know, whatever can let you export a CSV file. When you get a CSV file, what it really looks like is, you know, the bulk scheduler looks like this. So it's date comma, quote, whatever's in between the quote, end quote, comma, quote, and then a URL, and then an end quote. If I stripped all of that information out, it would be something like this. It would be like date, time, comma, quote, the blurb, quote, comma, quote, a URL, quote, the end. And so you just put a bunch of those together in a row, and you get something where you can bulk upload. So when I finish filling mine out for a day, it looks like this. And this is, you know, the date and time, the tweet information that will show up in the tweet, and then the, the link. And so I've got this for, in this case right now, what I've got it for is everything, including BossFit Magazine. So this file I've called hoopbulk.csv. So then I come over here and it says, what file do you want to upload? I say, I'll use hootbulk.csv, and then I click Submit, and it'll spit out any errors right here pretty quickly if there's an error. If there's not an error, it takes a long time for this file to upload, usually much longer than what I want it to be. So you and I will sit here and chew gum for a while. That's me pretending to chew gum, and this file will get uploaded. But this is slotting in every single thing. So just pay attention that, you know, the first column is the month, the date, the year. You can change that format around if you, you know, are the kind of culture that uses day, then month, then year. Your message goes in the second column and then your website. Like I said, you can edit in Excel. You just have to make sure whatever you edit it in allows you to export it as a CSV file, comma, separated value file, because that's what it's looking for. So this just chucked 65 messages into the queue. So I'm going to be tweeting 65 times tomorrow. So do you want to check it? Click streams again, go back and click the scheduler, and then boom, look at that. There's all my tweets. So it is crazy uh, how many tweets I'm going to give, and it's one every five minutes. And guess what? No one's going to notice or care. That's how it goes. That's what I've come to notice is no one cares. If you're the only person they follow, they're going to care because they're going to think you're drowning them. But... That's the deal. So that's an entire day. It ends at 6 to 25 p.m. The other thing is, though, if you come in and you realize, oh, man, I've got to fix this little thing or I've got to delete one of these, you can click on a specific one and delete it. And that's totally fine. It's all great. And these kinds of uh, opportunities happen. You can also go in and change or edit the schedule. You can also double check what the calendar looks like. So there's a lot of other things you can do in this uh, mode as well. So what I like about it is it gives you a real opportunity to uh, schedule a bunch of stuff and you know take better advantage of the experience. So that's what I got for you. I hope you're doing well. I hope this was useful, and I will catch you later.